are getting slower anymore. Huh. Um, I do think it's more a cultural failing on the part of software engineers. Like, so, you know, mm -hmm. the modern thing that's still getting faster is, you know, GPUs slash AI accelerator kind of things. And they don't, they, they're now selling on um, increased capability, right? As opposed to old things being slower. So you need a faster, a faster thing. So interesting. But I do think that that wasn't, it's like, if you go back to go back 15 years or something, I think Intel definitely wanted software to keep getting slower. And then they would, you know, they would offer features that only run on our CPUs that you can use to make things faster. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that, uh, yeah. that game developers have a, any, any, is there any benefit for game developers to do what you did, which is write your own engine? Should they, it's should a, they? It's a hard road to travel because it is a, a lot of work, right? Um, yeah. So now, fortunately, I think once we have an engine now, engines have kind of stabilized enough that I don't think we would need to radically rewrite it again. So that cost, like if you were to make an engine of your own now, you at least get to have it for multiple projects now. Whereas in the past, that wasn't even true because you know, if you work on a game for a few years, then the right thing to do, because GPUs had changed so much and CPU speeds had changed, the right thing to do was just like different algorithms than you had started with and you had to rewrite the whole thing. And now that's not necessary, but it is a lot of work. Like, not gonna lie, um, it's, it's uh, you shouldn't do it if you're not interested in it, right? Is that why you did it? Just mainly because you were interested in it? You yeah, help I mean, I like it. Well, it, historically, if you go even so going back even to The Witness, because these games take so long, right? <laughs> the Witness started in um, 2009. I actually, I started the prototyping it in 2008, but like I started hiring team for it in, in yeah. 2009. And back then, if you looked at what was available in terms of like game engines that you could license, none of them really could do what we wanted to do. So we did. Sure. Uh, pre-baked global illumination and very far view distance, right? Um, with with an LOD system to kind of, you know, do, do our best to, to make things not look too bad as they get further away. And those are things that you would get probably stock in Unreal Engine now, right? Mm -hmm. But back then you couldn't get them. And so you kind of had to build it if you wanted it. Um, and you know for for the new engine it's like well i'm making this new programming language and so i want to validate that the programming language is good for games and i want to see how the language helps us make the engine better right mm -hmm. and so um that was sort of a, a motivation to do that but i've just you... never i've never been a person who would be happy like all the things that are a bummer about off-the-shelf engines um, it's just my personality that those things are more negative for me than they are for a lot of other people. Sure. Yeah. So it's some, is it, is it some, some deep sort of perfectionist about you or is it practically necessary for you to perfectionist is the wrong word. Cause you, you cannot survive as a perfectionist in the game right. industry. It's just too hard. Like I probably did have perfectionist personality traits when I was a little kid before I had ever done anything real. Right. But <laughs> once you start trying to do things that are real, yeah. you get perfectionism beaten out of you really fast. But right. but maybe it just sort of sublimates into something more sophisticated, which is just um, a tactical. I'm going to do the the best that I can. I'm going to try very hard to do the best that I can within my current circumstances. Right. Does that um, bug your does that bug your team? Sorry to interrupt you, but does that does yeah. that bother people? who you work with, like team members, that you want to do everything from scratch and you want to start from the ground up and you even want to write your own language. Does that bother people? Like the artist, for example, because he um, might have to sometimes. work in those confines. Sometimes. Um, 